Hi, welcome to the tutorial of uh, Arch Merged on i3. So we've uh, been writing articles and they're all on archmerged.com and there are other websites you can take a look at. But this is a tutorial about i3 and we are gonna explain you things about Melt. Great uh, program, I can't live without Melt. Um, that's one thing. And we're going to, to 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 fake that we are one month ahead, and then you say, "Look, Eric, I installed these um, the Arch Merged i3, and I've got this um, GitHub here, and I've got everything from your um, your GitHub. But did you change anything? Have you um, changed anything? And what did you change? You can do this yourself. You can do." Um, this analysis yourself. There are two options. Um, either you did this Control H. Let's have a look. Either you did the Git clone, and if you if you have done a Git clone, it couldn't be any easier. Um, but even so, if you want to compare, if you want to um, check out the differences, then it's easier to actually download it first. So, or you do a Git clone, or you did the zip. Uh, it depends what you did, but let's have a look. So actually we could uh, follow our links that are in here somewhere. Number two. Installation of Arch Merged i3. This is what we did. We git cloned it and we can follow that tutorial, follow that link. So this is the link where we need to go. But I'm doing it like this because I want to explain this, this awesome tool, Melt. So I download the zip. So we're one month ahead in time. It's downloaded. Right mouse click, show in file manager. Right mouse click, extract here. Delete this thing. And what I want to do, I want to show to you, Control H, what I want to show is I want to compare the one I used one month ago and the one I just downloaded today. So what's the difference between this one and that one? That's a great program to do that and that's uh, Super F5 in my case. My screen key is not on. Super F5 is for me Melt. So this is the program the application Melt. Here it is, Melt. Um, preferences might be uh, not set correctly so you check out what uh, type of font and all that. I like my solarized um, uh, light so that's okay Control shift q to quit this thing and then i'm gonna compare a directory so you can also compare a file which is one file another file but this is very strong in this uh, manner i make my arch iso so the iso i create i compare the isos for uh, arch merge with antergos iso with uh, uh, Momenjaro ISO with all the ISOs available on GitHub you can say check this and check that and I check what the difference differences are why do people make ISOs the way they do there must be a reason for it so I'm starting to read ISOs from other distros and trying to learn from it okay that's something separate something completely different I'll make tutorials that in the far future but now we want to compare one folder to another folder. Okay, where are my folders? So there's the one that's downloaded. That's this one. I have a systematic, but that's up to you. The left is always the one that's that's new, that's that's um, coming from somewhere else, and the right one is always mine. It's always the one that that I, that's critical, that's um, original. Okay, so I have these two folders I told them directory 1 directory 2 and then we compare what's the differences in this case there are no differences but it's easily recreated let's kill this thing here let's kill this as well that's okay let's leave that okay so let's uh, say for instance that we have uh, a download here let's go to the download and we say in the software Arch Linux repo that we are going to change something we 
we, 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 I don't know, we just delete this thing. That's one thing you can do. You can delete something or you can rename something and you name this thing nitrogen, which is already included. Okay. So now there are differences between and directory one and directory two. And then you say changes and compare again. And then you get these lines. This thing shows, and it can be an arch ISO, it can be anything, it can be 3000 icons, it can be anything. And he really compares it even with spaces. If you're missing a space, he'll tell you you're missing a space. That's why I love Mel so, so much. I want to share that knowledge with you. Um, so I decide, do I want nitrogen? Do I want variety? Is to the, the undo or copy paste or mostly I just say this one is correct. So move this one to the other side or move this one to the other side. And that's how I go about uh, this, is my workflow that I show you, the tools that I use, you see, it's saved already and you close it up again. And that's how I easily check, did Eric change something in the AMD-i3 in one month, two months, one year, three years, you know? And that's the easiest way to check out what's happening on the system. An alternative, if you say, I don't mind, I didn't change anything to this AMD, but you really must be sure about that, didn't change anything, and the easiest way, which is a very cool way indeed, is just tell the system to get, pull it. Pull everything from that website, github.com, arch merge linux, slash emd i3. He knows where to pull it, git pull, and there you go. He says already up to date because there's no difference. But if there are differences, you get all the differences in. So that's the power of one melt and two if you git clone something you can afterwards in a month's time in a year's time do a git pull and then you get everything in hope you learned something enjoy working with our smirched i3 and see you later bye